Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a review of iPhone XR on iOS 14.3 official version so let's get right into today's video so Apple rolled out this firmware today to all devices and if you are on iOS 14.2 you can install this on your device and surprisingly I seriously am so confused iPhone XR is the only device which got the smallest update I mean all devices including the iPhone 6s was over a gigabyte but from iOS 14.2 if you are going to iOS 14.3 you will be getting update of on under 600 MB and I'm really confused how is this happening I mean uh, if this happened to iPhone 6s iPhone 7 I would have been like all right this is an old device this uh, uh, the old device does not usually get a lot of features and a lot of new security patches of course it gets but it is not as reliable and as stable as the latest devices and iPhone 10 is somewhat of a latest device right now and I'm seriously confused how the update was so small. Now talking about the storage, how much storage did, did this firmware freed up for me? So it was five in, under five, uh, 500 MB, I mean 600 MB, it was around 550 MB and it freed up around 200 MB which is of course it is not much but at the same time it, uh, thank god it at least didn't take up a lot of storage like other firmware such as I use 14.1 took 800 MB. Talking about the build number, the build number is 18C66 and it is if you are on RC2 it is the same as that and if you are on RC2 and you don't want other updates I mean you don't want to enroll in further betas then what you have to do uh, just delete the profile then restart your device then check if there is an official update or not and most probably there will be an update if there is no update try doing a hard reset and you may see it. Now let's talk about the performance improvement. So Apple improved the performance of the iPhone XR just a little bit. I seriously don't know how the iPhone XR is battery life in terms of battery life is performing so bad on almost every firmware from the iOS 14. If you are also experiencing this, be sure to drop a comment below because I'm really curious to see how many people are affected with this problem. And uh, I'm trying to sort it out. I'm trying to contact Apple and uh, make them aware most probably they are aware of this situation but iphone 10 users are getting a really bad battery life on ios 14.2 it was around five to six and a half hours and right now it is giving me around five and a half hours which is about the same but it is of course I'm, my, my usage is not really intensive it is just moderate usage and a five and a half hours for a iPhone 10 hour it is just not really good on iPhone I was 13.7 my iPhone 10 was getting around 10 hours of usage sometimes and sometimes even a day and my usage have not changed since then I'm seriously confused how it is happening but there are some temporary fixes which I can tell you guys on another separate video if you want that video be sure to let me know down in comments below so, so that I can make a video on that and you guys and just help you guys a bit because I know many people are affected with this and if a lot of people are affected with this just I have to make a video on temporary saving uh, battery saving fixes so uh, now let's talk about the overall scores La last time when I did this the overall score of the iOS 14.2 came around 8.4 score it was 8.4 8.3 yeah it, it was 8.3 out of 10 and now it is 8.1 and if I'll just explain you guys a bit in terms of performance I would give it a 8.1 out of 10 in terms of stability I would give it a 9 out of 10 in terms of battery life I would give it a really bad 6 out of 10 in terms of the uh, other uses the normal usage the uh, moderate usage as I use my device checking mails doing phone calls and normal stuff I would give it a 6.2 out of 10 that's the reason the overall score is so low so Apple is going to drop the other beta betas to developers as I am a developer and I will be testing that firmware and giving my reviews on my channel so you can subscribe and turn on notification most probably I use 14.4 will be out after this and uh, ju yeah just share your experience with the 10 on on I use 14.3 if you have installed yet and if you haven't installed yet tell me down in comments below what are you experiencing so that I can make a better follow-up video for you guys peace out and I will meet you guys in the very next episode